Yeah. Um, thanks very much, Cahir Luck. Um, I have two and a half minutes, so I, I'll be brief. Um, I want to mention the issue of rents, and obviously loads of people have mentioned that, but it really is, like I don't even like to use the word crisis point because it's, it's just gone beyond that nearly at this stage. Um, but just both ye yesterday in the two clinics that I run, one in Kilkenny City and one in Bagnallstown, which is in Carlow, I had um, an individual in each, one actually due to be out of their property this Saturday and one in the next two months, and just absolutely no hope of being able to find anything at all and it's really really so difficult um, and it's it's really difficult even to, to know what to say to people sometimes in this situation because you know you're saying have you applied to various um landlords or anything that might be coming up and everybody's applying to everything and at the moment there's 10 properties in the whole of Kilkenny and nine in the whole of Carlow and then you, you put into a situation where people are entitled to HAP for example if you're a single person 490 HAP is what you're entitled to like you haven't a hope of reaching some of these properties listed at uh, between 1100 and 1500 euro in, in some cases so we really really do need urgency in relation to, to the rental and it's not everyone that qualifies for HAP and I want to make that point too there's a lot of people in real difficulty that don't qualify for any supports. Um, I want to mention the fuel allowance as well because this is a major, major issue in relation to the, the cost of living and so many people we have seen, particularly elderly people who should be um, not worried about the, the cost of, of heating are really, really you know, under pressure and there's an awful lot of people that don't qualify for fuel allowance and I want to mention that in particular too and one of our suggestions was to include people who are on the work and family payment for example and I think we need to look at that. Um, in the longer term as well, I think we need to um, look at, at um, the issue of uh, retrofitting. I know this will be a debate later this week in this chamber, but I just want to make the point while I have the opportunity that this, a lot of the grants that are out there are not fit for purpose. People don't have the balance of the funds, and I think the SEIA have a waiting list of around a year or, or over a year at the moment, which is crazy for people. So the like some of the schemes they really there's no common sense in them and they need to really be fit for a purpose and that's you know where we should be looking at if we want to long term reduce costs for people and also if we really are serious about the climate they're the kind of schemes that we need to be looking at i'll finish there because I, I know we're short on time